They're dead, they smell, and one local community had to share their beaches with them. Thousands of fish washed ashore in Polly's Island today, prompting many of you to come to us to get answers. WMBF News reporter Ken Baker has new details about what may have caused this. Now, when you go to the beach, this isn't what you expect to find. Take a look at this. Hundreds of dead fish covering the shore. And this is exactly what people in Polly's Island woke up to this morning. We came down to the beach for the day just to have a you know, nice day on the beach, smell this fish smell. Came down to look for shells and all these fish. Dead. Um, it's like really weird. Like, I don't know what could have caused it. That's exactly how many people who live on Polly's Island felt as they looked at the shoreline. Hundreds of dead menhaden fish stretching a mile and a half long. And Polly's Island isn't the first place this week to see the dead menhaden fish on their shore. We were called earlier uh, from somebody from Hopqua, which is a marine education institute, and they had said that they had an issue yesterday with uh, lots of fish washing up on the beach down near Debidu. Fanning added that events like today's happen from time to time. Last year, an influx of starfish were found on the same beaches. It's a shame. I don't know what's causing it. It may be confusing to the people who live nearby, but Fanning says the state is looking into what may have killed the fish. DHEC and DNR visited the area today and took water samples. No results were available, but experts think a lack of oxygen in the ocean is what caused the dead menhaden to wash ashore. Dr. Dan Hitchcock says that the fish fell victim because they are more prone to feel the effects of the loss of oxygenated water. And when it's one species like that, uh, the species is menhaden, mm -hmm. that's all over the beach, uh, they, they are usually, that's usually indicative of a, a, a low dissolved oxygen situation because they tend to be more um, fragile. So Mother Nature will correct us, they'll wash the fish back out. Now Polly's Island police say there aren't any plans to clean up the fish that washed ashore today. Instead, they're just going to let the seagulls and the tide clear the sand. In Polly's Island tonight, Ken Baker, WMBF News.